Hey, this is Learn Algebra Faster, and in this video we are going to make a double bar graph from a table. So let's look at the data that we have here in this table. It's called the top speed of a vehicle, and you see that we have different types of vehicles and we have different colors of vehicles. Now in real life, probably the color of the vehicle won't actually change how fast it would go, but for this video I just want to show how to take this data from the table and we can actually put it over here on the bar graph and create a double bar graph from this. So check it out. So I went ahead and labeled the vertical axis here with 40, 60, 80, 100, and 120. Really, this could be customized. You just want to make sure that the maximum number is higher than any number in the table, which 120 is definitely higher than the highest number. And you want to make sure that your minimum number on the vertical axis is lower than any number in the table. And so 40 is definitely smaller than the smallest number on this table. So now that we have the vertical axis shown, we need to come to the horizontal axis. And this is where we will group things. So in this case, we want to, we want to show the bus, the van, the truck, and the car. So the horizontal axis is where we group things and in this case we are grouping the type of vehicle that we have. Now what we want to do is we want to refer to the table and make sure that we that we graph everything correct. But as you see we're not just putting one set of numbers here we are actually putting two sets of numbers here so we are putting the red and the black. So and make sure that we get everything correct. Let's show, let's make a little key here that shows obviously the red color is for red. And the black is for the black cars. Okay, so let's take a look. So let's figure out the, the top speed of a bus, or of a red bus. And so we'll come, that, we'll come here for that, and that is about 45. So we'll show it. Now let's go to the van, which is 70. That is right about here. We make our bar for it and color it in. Now we go to the truck. The red truck is 95. So that is right around here. So let's make that bar and we will color it in. And finally, we'll do a red car. So we look at red, we go down to the car, and that is actually 105 which is right about here. Okay, so we have taken one set of data and we made a bar graph out of it. So there you go. But, like I said, this is actually this is actually a double bar graph because our key shows that we need red bars and black bars. So now let's go to the black vehicles and let's look for black buses, which is 49, which would be a little bit higher here. So we'll go ahead and make that bar and color it in. Now let's go to black vans, which is 80. So we'll draw that bar here. And we'll go to black trucks, which is 92, which is just a little bit less than the 95. And last but not least, we will do black 
cars, which is 101, which would be right about there. So check that out. So we just, we stepped through the categories. We did bus first, then van, then truck, then car. We did it in the same, in the, in the same order as is shown here. And we started off with the column of red and we did that first and we made that in one, one set of bars. And then we came back and did the second set of bars for the black vehicles. And this is what our bar graph looks like. Now, when you make a double bar graph, the really the most important part is this key. And the reason for that is it shows you what different colors of bars represent. So in this case, I kind of did this on purpose where the red color shows the red vehicles and the black color shows the black vehicles. That's way easier to see, but it could be you know, this year's model versus last year's model. It could be cars in California versus ca cars in New York. It could be lots of different things, but the key is really important for double bar graphs. Now, now that we've taken a table and we've made it into a double bar graph, I want to show you something fancy and maybe maybe you maybe you get confused and you figure out um you know like well what what if i did it in a in a different direction and actually let's do that just to see what it looks like so i'll erase that and now let's say that you got confused and you actually wanted to you wanted to graph things this way so let's look at what if when we were label our labeling our horizontal axis, what if we actually labeled them with the colors of the car? So what if we said red and black? Now, how would this graph look different? Okay, it's actually easier than what you might think. So let's go ahead and make a key here. And what we're going to have is we're actually going to have four different things here. So I'm going to go ahead and use the green color for, so you see on this table, we, we have the choices of vehicle colors here, red and black. And that's actually what we did. That's what we did this time. Last time we looked at the types of vehicle. So the bus, the van, the truck, and the car. So in this case, if you, if you do it in reverse and you put the colors of the vehicle down here, then you have to put the types of vehicles in the key. And so in this case, we will use the green color for buses. Okay, so let's look at, we need red buses, which would be 45. Now, let's go to black buses, which is 49. So there you go. We actually already graphed the buses. Now, we need a different color to look at vans. So I'm going to show that in the key, that this red color is for a van. And now let's look at the color or at the top speed of a red van and it is 70 so we'll go into the red section and we will graph that now we'll look at black vans which is 80 and we will draw that bar Now we're going to go to trucks, but that's a different category, so we need a different color. So let's use a blue color for trucks. So we want a truck that is red, which is 95.
Now let's look at black trucks, which is 92. Now we have that. Let's go to a different category, which is the car. And let's put that on our key. This orange color is going to be the car. So let's look at red cars, which is 105. And last but not least, we'll look at black cars, which is here, and that's 101. Now, check that out. In this case, it's not really a double bar graph when you do it when you do it the way that we just did. This is actually this is actually a quadruple by a. a quadruple bar graph because it actually has four bars in each section but if you were looking at this table and you got confused and you were afraid of how to how to make your bar graph I actually just showed you in this video that it doesn't really matter because what you would do is you would take either the type of vehicle or the color you choose one for the horizontal axis, and then you put the other one up here in the key. So again, just in review, if we did this in reverse, kind of like we did the, the, the first, first go round of this example, we chose to put the type of vehicle down here. So we had buses, van, truck, and car on the horizontal axis and if we do that then we have to put the color in the key and so the key actually looked like like reds and black so that's what's that's another thing that's really cool about a double bar graph is that you can actually do it in reverse and still get the information on the table and it still looks nice and clean. If you want more descriptions of bar graphs or about lots of other algebra topics, I encourage you to check out learnalgebrafaster.com. Thanks.